So today I'm being interviewed by the Clapper app, not just me. Uh, it's going to be me and six other creators that have shops on their app. We're going to be part of their community fair. They're going to be asking us questions about our struggles with the shops and what we're going to be doing for the coming year. And they also have another event called the Holiday Bazaar coming up. I'm part of that as well. So I'm going to use it to showcase what I'm bringing to the show. Did she freeze into for suspense or did she actually freeze? Oh, yes. We can't, we can't hear you. We took over. Lo oh, yeah, she did. Okay. Oh. Oh, Welcome we're back. back. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I felt like we were in the clapper vortex. Nice. I accidentally swiped. Nice, Maury Povich. And the winner is. because there's still time for you guys to vote on your community favorites and also for our awesome shop owners, our community fair booths, it's still time for you to rally up your communities together to use your hashtag so that way you can win the most engaged community title. So the data that I have here today is actually for the most engaged uh, community title. And I just wanna let you guys know who's like in the lead. So I'll do like the top three right now in the lead. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm getting like tingles um, just announcing this right now because <laughs> it's like, oh my God, like it's so amazing to see that like this fair has connected everyone together. And even for our OG creators, like you guys are also meeting newer shop owners or newer creators within your category. So it's like, it's, it benefits everyone because like you're always learning like who joined Clapper, who's creating that shop. And maybe in the future, we'll see some collaborations and we'll see more of the newer creators and newer shop owners, maybe in the holiday bazaar. So yes. I'm super excited. So before we get started for our Q and A session, let me just go ahead and announce who is the top three. Now, again, these are not the winners. We will announce the finalized winners tomorrow during our town hall at 3 p.m. Central Time. So be sure to check that out. But as far as the most engaged community, um, who's up there on the, the platform? The, you know, up there on the, the, the leaderboard. Leader yeah, the leaderboard. So um, coming in third place as of now is going to be, oh my gosh. The, the shop owners community so right now you guys are in third you still have time to make it to first you're in third right now Woo! congratulations you know it's not over it's not over until it's over and then for second place we do have the wellness community so the Ooh. wellness community is actually trailing behind the fitness, fitness community so yes the fitness community is taking the lead right now for most engaged community and then it goes shop owners and then wellness. So those are the top three right now. Now that definitely can change. A lot can happen in 24 hours. So we will announce the final winners tomorrow during the town hall. So I just wanted to give you guys some updates. Yes. Okay. Three is not bad. You guys haven't even had your live stream yet. Literally. So that's awesome. All right. Well, as you guys know, the way we're going to move into this is we are going to have a little Q&A session. We do have two sections of our Q&A section. The first one is going to be some like creator questions, getting to know a little bit about you and your business and all that fun stuff. And then we're going to move on to our second section, which is our community questions. So just more questions, how you involve yourself within the community. So we'll go ahead and let Cece answer the first question, ask the first question. And the way that it will go is we'll go in order of the live stream. So J Dubs, Wills Over Matter, Heidi, and then I Fancy Safety, Alex, and Juniper Jen. Yes. So for this first question, we just want to know everyone has like a different journey. And we kind of already learned that, um, you know, with Heidi and um, I Fancy Safety, Alicia being here a little bit, they're like a little bit newer. So can you just tell us when you guys first joined Clapper and how did you even find the shop owner community? Like tell us how you even found other people that were shop owners or how you even connected with like the small business community um, as a whole on Clapper. Starting with you, J-Dubs. So I started off uh, on Clapper hanging out with a bunch of different crafters, um, some crazier than others. <laughs> Juniper Jen, I'm talking to you. <laughs> uh, and actually, when but when you guys launched the shop option, uh, Juniper 
Hook of 13, myself, we, we were the ones answering questions um, because we found ways to make it work for small businesses that were trying to start up. So Juniper started hosting a weekly radio on Wednesdays uh, that would go into the wee hours of the morning and slowly get away from business. But it, we, we shared a lot of information. We rallied a lot of people. And actually, the shop community was able to put on their own event that me and Jen hosted called the Carnival Creators, which became a hashtag. And I think we did a second year kind of didn't do as well, but it brought a lot of shops together. And that's kind of how we built our community of shop owners. I love that. I think I do. It wasn't one person. The carnival thing. I think when that was started, I was like very, very new. I think I had just started working with Clapper. So at that point I was like, not, doing what I'm doing today, <laughs> like my beginning stages, my own journey. <laughs> but no, that's definitely interesting. And I like that you and Hooka and Juniper Jen, you guys already had like that initial connection and you like rallied together and like y'all banded together as like the three of you guys to start the community and to even educate other creators on how to use that shop function. Because I know- There were so launched, many of us. Yes, like when it was launched, it was, it was probably a hot mess. So <laughs> I'm glad- We were a hot mess too. Because we were we were figuring it out as you guys were figuring it out, so like we 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 kind of we were kind of like the we were kind of like the shop beta testers. Yeah, no, definitely, you guys were definitely the shop guinea pigs, the beta testers. We're like, here, here, try this out and, and let us know if it works. <laughs> Basically, yep. yeah. Well, that was a hell of a rush. I asked the girls when they were interviewing me for three colors. They chose purple, yellow, and green. Those were the only colors I was going to use other than white and black for my lightning and darken. But I also asked for two topics. They asked for community, and they also asked for pets. And this is what we came up with. Say hello to Spike. Spike was actually purchased during the live uh, by one of the people that was listening. They have a dog that resembles him a little bit, I guess, and they, they want to bring him home. So, we did find an adoption for this 5x7 canvas in the live, and that's kind of a testament to what we've done on Clapper for the shop community.